Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would appreciate if you could do so because this way you will be able to receive all the new tutorials as soon as I post them. Okay, in today's tutorial we are going to learn about fgets function. Um, it's a function that allows you to read strings from file. Um, we have, however, already we have been using all this time uh, fscanf uh, if we have to read uh, any string from the file. Uh, but this is uh, one more function to do that. Now, uh, <coughs> the the advantage of using f uh, f scanf is basically it's a very versatile function because it allows you to you know you specify the file pointer here and then it allows you to specify the format specifier like you know you could use it to read the uh, strings. Uh, you, you you could use it to read the numbers or integers or floating point numbers or whatever whatever format specifier that you use here you could basically uh, uh, read from the you know from the file uh, just like that uh, and of course including the strings as well so if you were to read the name you can you could just specify uh, name and you could you should you should be able to read the uh, name from the file as well um, as a string. Uh, the thing about fscanf though is that it's um, it's very open ended in the sense that when you use it uh, use fscanf um it actually reads for uh, and we learned before that it reads for as long as it doesn't find a space if it finds a space at that point it stops and then it copies the string into this array that you have you might have defined for example if you define you know character name of uh, 21 for example right so so it will basically read those characters whatever the characters in the strings are a string are they whatever it could find and it will put copy it in this memory location where this array has been defined the problem is that there is no way you can specify how many bytes or how many characters you have to read which means that if you're uh, you are here assuming that your string is not going to be more than uh, 20 characters long you know one character is for to uh, to uh, to use the end of a string character so your string itself uh, ha is no more than 20 characters that's what you are assuming here but what if you're if somebody has you know has a very long name or you know whatever data it is if, if what if in the file it says something like this without spaces you know now this is way more than 20 characters and if you'll use this it is going to read all this if from the file and as soon as it's going to read this and it will copy into name what's gonna happen name is only 20 characters long this is more than 20 characters so what's gonna happen it's not gonna stop after 20 characters it's going to keep on writing in the memory beyond the 20 characters or 20 bytes that you have allocated and what's gonna happen is that it's going to corrupt the neighboring um, uh, variables you know if you have one more variable here de defined it may override this I variable or it may destroy this file pointer or it may destroy some other programs data as well I mean you never know what's gonna happen if you overflow so this is the bad thing about F scan F if you use F scan F to read the uh, strings so for that we have uh, what we call F get s and what is the syntax here the syntax is a little bit different usually we have the file pointers in the beginning of all of these functions that we have read uh, read about so far um, but with F get s the f file pointer is at the end the first thing that you have to specify is the string where you want the your data to go to so like name for example okay and then you have to specify how many bytes you want to read so you specify the number of bytes here okay and then you specify the file pointer at the end so it ca it takes three parameters here the first parameter is the string where you want to so note that this function f get s it's like you know f all the file functions start with f so this f is for file get s is for string so it's like get string from file that's what this function is so it it can you can only use it to read strings you cannot use it to read numbers or integers okay now you can still read numbers from the file if there are numbers written in the files you can still read numbers but those read numbers will be read as strings which means that you cannot just multiply and divide just like that so you have to have a string variable here okay so it will be part of a string here so it will it can be used only to read strings so when you have to read a string you, you you use this uh, 
function uh, this function f get s and you specify the number of bytes here also now note that i have specified 21 the whole whatever the number of bytes uh, this array is which means that this includes the end of line character okay oh, sorry end of a string character okay so so end of it basically what it does is it reads from the file and then it stores it into this array and the number of bytes that it reads is one less than um, uh, one less than what you specify here so you specify 24 21 here it will read 20 bytes and then it will put uh, an end of string character at the end of this string name okay now if the if the if the string that it's trying to read from the file is less than 20 characters okay if you get the new line so let's let's take a look at the file let's see if there is a file suppose I have this abc.txt file okay and this file has this data in it this is a C programming tutorial let's say let's say in its first line it says programming okay <coughs> so this is what we have programming this is a C programming tutorial and this tutorial blah 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 all this okay in this file so let's see let's look at let's write the program to read this file so name of the file is abc.txt we want to read it in the read uh, mode if it was successful which means that pointer is actually pointing to some valid location not to null so if pointer is not equal to null which means it was successful we basically keep reading the entire file okay we read the whole file until we get the end of file so for as long as you keep reading while the there is no end of file okay as long as there is data to read there is no it's not the end of file which file this file and then you basically um, then we do we are not gonna do f scan f then we do let's not call it name because we don't have names in this file let's call it line okay and then I specify a line here and let's make this line a uh, big little big let's say 81 characters okay usually a line is considered to be 80 characters but you know it you could make it the largest possible that you can think you know you think that the, your file will have and then you specify the same length here and and then you specify the file pointer so it's going to read from the file right now okay and then it will keep on doing it until the end of file happens now the thing that to note here is that how it's going to read okay f get s actually reads the strings but how does it know where where to end where the string ends it actually uses the new line character so when the line ends actually it actually stops there so it's going to start it's going to open the file and it's going to start from the beginning and the first time when you'll call this f get s what's going to happen it's going to read start reading here so it's going to read p and put it in the in the first element of line then r put it in the second element of the of line and o put it in the third element of line uh, array here and so on and what's going to happen it's going to read dot and then it say uh oh, it's the new line at that point it's going to stop so it's not going to read exactly this many bytes it's this many characters this is only the maximum that it's going to re read at a time okay so this is the maximum this is not the and this is not uh, always how many bytes it has to read okay this is not exact number of bytes that it's gonna read so it's going to stop if it gets a uh, new line character before it it finishes reading this many bytes so in this particular example first time when it's going to read it's going to read the first line here programming full stop so the value of line would be programming full stop and then if you want you could print print it out using print s a uh, print f okay um, like that let me stop here because I'm running out of time and we will continue this lecture in the next video so don't forget to watch and rate this video as well and feel free to leave any comments you have uh, or any questions as well thank you so much Bye.